Hi folks, hand cannon here. First thing I wanted to say is, where were you guys? Caught all these fish and you didn't get to see any of them. Well darn, that was actually my fault because I went fishing and didn't take the GoPro with me. So, one thing I can show you is how to clean these fish though, and how I do it. And we'll try to do it properly and get pretty much all the meat off of them. Another thing I'd like to show you is, we got some fairly good sized red ears off the beds. And a lot of people say, you know, there's three of them here, and they say, well, red ears absolutely won't hit flies. And as the Lone Ranger used to say, that's horseshit. But I caught all three of those and several of the other bluegills and some pretty decent bass. I caught about a 17-inch bass on it, too, on this little nymph here that I call Watson's Dramsel. It's kind of a cross between a dragonfly nymph and uh, a damselfly nymph. Anyhow, show you that. What I mostly wanted to do was show you how to clean these. And the first thing you need is a good sharp knife. This is actually a five inch, it's a uh, Victorinox. Um, it's classified as a chicken boning knife, but it's got a what they call a flex blade, which is a little less flexible than some filleting knives. And you've got a steel here. I always touch it up with a few licks on the steel. And then periodically when you're going through the filleting. Now the first thing you're going to do is you're going to lay your fish down and let me move these other ones. Now, you're going to lay your fish down and you're going to insert the tip of the knife just through the skin and you're going to make a cut from the back of the dorsal fin all the way up to the skull till it stops. Then you turn your knife kind of parallel to uh, all of that and you're going to make just a, a smooth slice or two till you hit the backbone. Okay, and you'll be able to feel it and hear it do that. Then you turn your fish, you're going to make a cut behind the head, kind of make, oh, not quite a lazy S, but you're going to get that piece of meat up here by the head and then go around the gill cover and down behind the pectoral fin. And you don't cut all the way through the fish or anything. You just make sure you've cut down through the meat. And then you flap this up. And you're going to take and cut just till it goes through the, the Y bones. And you'll be able to hear that. And then you can lift it up. And you're going to slide the meat off of the rib cage. When you get peel it up back of the rib cage, you cut down till you hit the backbone and you slide it off the back. And you wind up with a pretty nice neat fillet. And then you wind up doing the same thing on the other side. You flip him over. You're gonna go mostly through the the skin there. And you get a little bit of a lip of meat, and then you kind of angle downward into the uh, skeleton of the fish. Cut or two, you'll be able to hear and see it. Hit the ribs, feel it. Turn your fish. And you've got behind the pectoral fin and then you get the meat up by the head too. A lot of people leave that out. Cut through the Y bones. Once you've done that, you lift your meat up. You don't peck it to death, you just, you know, should take about three strokes to get most of that loose. When you've got it loose past the rib cage, cut down until you hit the backbone and slide it off the tail. Then you get a nice fillet like that. And that's what you're left with, folks. I mean, if you see a lot that's left on there that you really want to eat, uh, you're welcome to come get them and, and clean them again if you really would like to. The second step to doing these, I usually have two knives, and I'll show you why that is. And I also have a table fork, a board, I guess I didn't tell you about that. That just kind of gives you an elevated platform up above the tabletop. Your fork, you use to catch the very edge of the skin, 
And this here is like a uh, seven inch, it's a Wusthof Grand Prix filleting knife, very sharp. And you're gonna cut down till you hit the skin. You're holding it with tight. And you're just going down, a little slight downward pressure toward the board. And you slide it off from the, the skin and you wind up with your fillet. And the rest of it, well, I lost a tiny bit there, but a lot less than what most people generally do. Put that over there. And then we do the same thing with the other play. Now normally, I will take and I will do all of the fish getting the play. And then I will pick up my other knife and skin them. And there's that one. There's the skin. And again, if there's anything on there really that anybody would want, you'd be welcome to them. And that one's kind of frozen. Some of these are still kind of frozen from the ice. Here's a smaller one. Because a lot of people say, well, if they're a little smaller, you can't do them. That one's probably, I don't know, seven and a quarter inches long as opposed to the uh, 10 inch red ear. So we'll do this bluegill. And we do it the same way. We're going to go through the skin till we hit the skull. Turn your fish cut down till you probably can't hear that out on the video, but you'll hear it go across there and it hits the ribs. And then we're going to cut up at the base of the skull and then down behind the pectoral fin. And not super deep. We really aren't trying to cut the fish in half. We turn it, cut the Y bones, slide the meat off from the rib cage, go behind the rib cage. Uh, try it again. Okay. That's what the fish looks like after is it recording. The uh, meat's taken off. We do the other side, same way, and just like we did the bigger fish. You get through the skin, lift up that little lip of meat, carefully, that's probably where you're most likely to cut yourself if you do. Then you make your little S-cut, pop through those Y bones, cut down over the rib cage, behind it you go straight down to the spine. Slide it off the back. There's your other fillet. There's your other side of that fish. You see anything on there you want, folks? Like I said, you'd be welcome to it. Now, like I said, normally I take all the meat off and then do all of these at once, but we skin these the same way. Hold on to that skin. And we're going to cut down towards the board. Maintain a little bit of pressure there. Slide that fillet right off of the skin. And there's the skin. And if I had a flashlight you would know that you'd be able to see through that. Um, and that wasn't a huge bluegill. That was a eating size bluegill. Some of you folks probably wouldn't even keep them that small. But they're all good to eat. There's the other one. Other fillet off the skin. There's the skin. And you guys probably need to go out now and gather up your stuff and go fishing. i got to clean the rest of these fish. We'll see you next time.